Hey guys, what's up? Prashun here and today we are going to discuss about big data technology. Now you must have heard about big data but may or may not be aware exactly what it does. So keeping the technical aspects aside, this video will help you with a basic non-technical understanding on what big data actually is and why is it the most talked about technology of recent times. What is big data? Suppose you have a 500 GB hard drive with you and the data that you need to store in this hard drive is 600 GB. Since your data size is larger or bigger than your storage capacity, your data will be termed as big data for your hard drive. Data is being generated every moment. In the early 90s, data growth was not as rapid as it is now. The primary source for data generation today is easily our mobile phones. We keep sending text messages, click photos and then upload them as well, thus generating a lot of data. Now we will have a look at three main aspects of big data. Let us take an example of a shopping website like Amazon.com. Now Amazon has lakhs and lakhs of products available on its site. It won't be possible to store the data about these products in a local hard drive for Amazon. Hence. They have their own data centers where they store these data in various servers. Suppose user 1 logs into Amazon.com and searches for a product, say camera. Amazon.com then passes this request for camera to one of the servers and gets back with the results with various camera products. Similarly, if user 1 searches for another product, say mobiles, then the same process takes place but this time Amazon also stores in its servers user 1's last searched item, that is camera, thus generating new data. There won't be user 1 alone shopping in this site. There will be lakhs of users who are simultaneously shopping on Amazon. Thus, every second a large volume of data is generated. Data Variety User 1 now logs into his Facebook account. As soon as login is successful, a log file is created in a structured manner. User 1 then sends a text message via chat and also uploads a photo and a video in the form of unstructured data. Thus a large variety of structured and unstructured data is being processed every moment. Data Velocity It so happens that when you have large amount of data, say about 500 GB, then Processing a data of 200 GB from it will take more time than processing a data worth 100 GB. In simple terms, when data increases, processing speed decreases. Now this was a major concern since it was very important to process large amount of data in less time. For this reason, a technology named as Hadoop was invented. Hadoop was actually being used by Yahoo to store and process large amount of data. What Hadoop does is, it provides a seamless integration between the amount of data and its processing time, thus increasing the processing velocity. Hadoop stores data with the help of a method named as HDFS, that is Hadoop Distributed File System, and processes the same data with the help of a method named as MapReduce. The name Hadoop was given by its inventor Dove Cutting whose son had an elephant toy named as Hadoop. Strange. So these three terms that is volume, variety and velocity together compromise of big data. So guys, I hope you now are at least aware of what big data is all about. Thank you guys. If this video helped you, do like it and share your feedback and the knowledge with your friends as well.